This is Mallorca. Hey there, this is Palma de Mallorca, also called just Palma, the uh, capital and uh, main city here on the island of Mallorca, also the capital of the Balearic Islands. This region of Spain in the Mediterranean Sea, including Mallorca here, Menorca nearby, Ibiza, and Formentera, and other smaller islands. And so this is uh, fully part of Spain. And so I just arrived two days ago and stayed in that room that I showed at the beginning of the video for the past two nights. And so I'm just kind of getting acquainted with this island. I didn't really see much yesterday because I'm still getting over the uh, jet lag flying here from Albuquerque, New Mexico, a very uh, crazy adventure getting here. And so the hotel that I showed earlier in the video is actually back down this way. I wanted to walk down this uh, street here and show all the various restaurants along here which are not actually all that expensive and uh, talk about the prices of things. So the room there was $65 per night and that was really like the uh, cheapest thing that I could find for a private room. However, it was not available tonight. They only had another room that was a uh, double room that was 80 euros per night. And so the uh, currency used here is the euro of course in Spain and the current exchange rate for the euro versus the US dollar is almost one to one, but uh, 80 euros is about 90 bucks US. And that was for one night. And that is just kind of over my uh, budget. And so I'm changing today and uh, going to a hostel that is about a uh, 30 minute walk away through Palma here. So I'll be walking through Palma, showing more of the uh, town here and uh, talking more about prices and the uh, little bit that I have learned in the course of being here. And so last night I had dinner at this place right here, Tivoli. And the good news is that drinks and food are not all that expensive. And so I had a couple beers there and they were only about two euros each. So that is a, a good deal. And a spaghetti bolognese, which was eight euros or about uh, nine bucks. So that is pretty reasonable, especially for being like the main tourist area here. And then at this uh, supermarket right here, I grabbed a uh, big bottle of juice that was also just two euros. And up ahead is a uh, little cafe where I stopped yesterday for breakfast. And they have really good Wi-Fi, nice and fast, because the Wi-Fi in the room there, where it was before, barely worked in the room. And even down in the reception area, that it was super slow. And I was trying to upload my last video and it was gonna take forever. And so I tried this cafe and discovered that they had super fast Wi-Fi. I was able to upload a video in like 20, 30 minutes or something. So I'm going back there again. And so it looks like the main expense here on Mallorca is going to be accommodation because private rooms are just super, super expensive. The hostel that I'm going to is $50 a night for a dorm bed in a hostel. But at least food is fairly cheap. So here is the place. Calypso. Hey man, way to see us. Cool. I'll start off with the uh, fresh orange juice again. Okay. Good. All right, so uh, fruit smoothies, five euro 50 cents, about six bucks. Irish coffee, wow, seven euros for a uh, coffee there. I guess it must be good. But the uh, breakfast was really reasonable. It was five euros for eggs, toast, and bacon. And the fresh orange juice is two euro 95 cents, a little more than three dollars, and it's really good. And here's breakfast, scrambled eggs on toast and bacon for five euros. Pretty good deal. And so you can see right here, Cala Mayor Beach. One of the main beaches in Palma here. And so the Mayor, as in Mallorca, means major. That is referring to the larger island as opposed to Menorca or minor, which is smaller. And as you can see, a 
crazy, busy, jam-packed uh, tourist beach scene here. This is definitely not what I came here for. It is a fairly large island and there's a lot to explore and I'm going to be trying to find some much more secluded beaches than this, but I figured I should at least just uh, show what's going on here in town. The water does feel good. I took a swim here yesterday. Oh man. So I'm going to uh, get out of here, put the uh, backpack on my back. I don't... And so my hotel room that I showed earlier at the Hostel San Telmo is straight back up there, just a couple of minutes walk. And the Cala Mayor Beach is just right down there. So a, a good location here in Palma. I'm now hiking this way. It's like a 30 minute walk to the hostel where I'm staying for the next three nights. And so this backpack here is very heavy. In part because I have a tent and a camping mattress all set up for camping, which is definitely part of the uh, purpose of this trip. So one reason that I wanted to come here wasn't so much to see my orca, but to see Menorca nearby, which is smaller and quieter and more peaceful. And there's a hike that you can do around the island. I watched another guy's videos about it. It's like a 10 day hike along the coast. And you go through countryside and along beautiful beaches and through villages and stuff. And it sounds really cool. So I'm thinking of doing that, going to get over there. I was just looking at prices of hotels and over there as well. They're super expensive. I'll probably get a hostel again. And I might not stick around long, especially if I can't camp doing that hike, we'll see. But otherwise, I'm gonna have to go to somewhere cheaper because it is just too expensive here. And so I thought that I would mention that the uh, taxi coming from the airport to the hotel where I was staying before was 28 euros or about uh, 30 bucks. Cafeteria California, cool. That's where I'm from. And a nice mural up here. And here it is, the singular hostel. All right, I have a uh, good sense that they're gonna have AC. It is so hot out here. Check-in is in an hour and 20 minutes, so I guess you can take a seat down there. And yes, it is nice and cool. I'll be here in 15 minutes, pass to the living room. Sounds good. And here's the dorms. Nice setup with these uh, privacy curtains. This is my number 12. I'm in a supermercado, a supermarket, and as you can see there, a uh, large bottle of water, 70 euro cents. That's about 80 cents US. I'll show a few more prices. So a beer, one euro. That is a small little beer though. Corona Extra, 165 euro. Heineken, one euro. Some kind of milk product here for 250 euro. I'm not sure if that's, I guess, uh, some kind of nut milk. I guess that is almond milk there. 185, whatever that one is there. I got a uh, juice. I think it was like two euros for a mixed multi fruits. Oranges, 90 cents per kg per kilogram, about a dollar. 150 for apples. And the juice was 2 euro 50. 
It is cooling down about uh, 7.30 in the evening. Had a nice little nap there. I was exhausted, so uh, good to get a little break from the heat. And so I'm just going to walk around the town a little bit, do a little random exploring, look for a restaurant. And so I found out about the ferries from the uh, person at the reception desk at the hostel there, which is that they actually leave from a completely different town on the opposite side of the island from Palma here. And according to him, there isn't even anywhere that you can book the ferries over here. You have to like go to the ferry port to book ferries or else maybe online. But he said that they leave every day, a few per day going to Menorca. So what I'm going to do is after my uh, three nights here in Palma, try to do some exploring on this side of the island and then catch a bus over to that other town and stay there for maybe a couple of nights. It'll be nice to see a different uh, city and uh, then I'll find out about the ferries there. Now I noticed the uh, prices of motorbike rental. There was a sign at the front desk at the hostel. They are 30 euros per day, which is pretty spendy for motorbikes, not even a rental car. And that was the kind of mid-season price. The price bumped up on July 15th, which is in about uh, 10 days to 40 euros per day. That is like 45 bucks a day just to rent a motorbike, which, you know, like in Greece or something, it would be maybe 15, 20 euros per day. So that is pretty spendy. Some interesting street art here. It's my life, it's now or never. Bon Jovi. And across the street here, it says right there, Plato del Dia, plate of the day, for five euro 50 cents. That's probably a uh, lunch special, but a uh, good deal. beach there, a little grittier. This is a fairly large city of around half a million, I think. Pizzas, four euro fifty, donor, two euro fifty. Check it out, one euro for a uh, glass of beer. Sweet deal. And here we have some prices at a little bit nicer restaurant, Can Juanito. English over here. Starters, bread and olives, just one euro 15. Mixed salad, six euros. Fish soup, 10 euros. Noodle soup, five euros. 20 euros for uh, fish, 10 for fried mullet, squid, 14 euros. Meat dishes, suckling lamb chops, 17 euros. Sirloin steak, 17.50. That is actually not too bad. All considering, chicken breast, just nine euros. Grilled beef steak, just nine euros. So food prices are reasonable. 
it's accommodation and car and motorbike rentals that are really quite uh, expensive. Sabor Criollo Restaurante de Comida Tipica Colombiana, a Colombian restaurant. And check it out, they have Bandeja Paisa. I had that in Panama City and it's 11 euros. That is a good deal. That is a very large plate of food, really good too. Beans and rice and uh, sausage, eggs, avocado. There's a better shot of it. It would be cheaper in Colombia, that's for sure, but uh, not too bad, about $12 for a uh, large plate of food there. So this is kind of interesting. Cafeteria Hamburgueseria Napoli. Naples, Italy, which is the birthplace of pizza. And so I'm not sure what it has to do with hamburgers. Seems like it would be a uh, pizza joint, but hamburguesas, parito caliente, pepito de lomo, sandwiches, tortilla, queso. I don't know. Seems like it should be a pizza place if it's gonna be called Naples. And here's Dragon Sushi. There are so many restaurants in this town, it's amazing cocktail bar mojito on the left and I can see the water out there. I thought that I would take a look. Namaste India. Restaurante Hindu. Tapas and cocktails. Authentic food of India. Some nice restaurants here and a little park with, uh, wow, some pretty uh, crazy street art up there. And then there's the Port, the wharf, Palma. I wonder if it's actually named after palm trees. Not sure, but here we got some. So this is a interesting contraption here. It's like a sundial of sorts. Up there it says latitude 39 degrees 34 north. And here, longitude 2 degrees 38 east. And you can see that like thing right there, which I guess uh, is, you know, supposed to cause a shadow and then tells you something. And then here, MCML XXXVI. And I'm not sure if that is 1936 or 1986. I forget if the uh, L is 50. Probably it's 86 seems more likely, but uh, strange device here. Obviously for time and or date. Amazing trees. And up ahead, these guys right here were juggling basketballs. I saw the guy juggling like five or six of them. And then a policeman came along and I think told them you can't do this here. They're obviously trying to make some money doing it right here where people are stopped. <laughs> and an old fort. And up ahead is what looks like the main cathedral. So it's kind of uh, lucky that I end up here at the main fort and cathedral because I'm just wandering randomly. A pretty ugly uh, modern sculpture or whatever up next to this amazing ancient fort. They could have picked something better for that. Wow. Really nice. Jaime Ferrer. Navigante. Malap 
Kwan. Some very hip looking places here. Barcoto. Wow, check out this tiny little delivery vehicle. Corner Bar Palma. Placa de la Drasana. Carrer de. Again, that same guy. Jaime, I guess that's James Ferrer. And a fancy schmancy restaurant here, Ritzy Palma, Italian restaurant. Wow, this is an amazing part of the city. Obviously, the old town. And the cathedral is nearby, so I'll definitely check that out. Pizzeria Trattoria Michelangelo. Little Italy. This is a happening spot here. Paella's Spanish food. I think this city has the most amount of restaurants that I've ever seen anywhere. Like every part of town, just uh, restaurant after restaurant. Hippie market. And so this is the Capella de Santa Ina, or the Chapel of St. Anne. And so this is the Cathedral of Santa Maria of Palma, or the Palma Cathedral, a Roman Catholic cathedral. The construction began in 1229 AD, but it wasn't actually completed until 1601. The Palacio Real de la Almudena, Almudena Palace Access, seven euros. And this building is a Moorish building. The Moors were Muslims who came from North Africa and conquered this part of Spain. And in fact, like most of Spain, I think, 
and Portugal. You see Moorish castles in uh, Lisbon, Portugal. And so the Moors took over this area for several centuries or something. And this is now the royal residence of the king and queen of Spain when they visit the Balearic Islands. Hola. And so I got tapas here. There was a special three tapas for 10 euros 90. So I got meatballs, jalapeno cheese poppers, and potatoes there, and some bread. So about $13. That looks good. And so two beers and three tapas. 1590 euros. At latitude. How long have you been working in Mallorca? Sorry? How, how long have you been working? Uh... Three months. I see. Cool. Yeah. I met another guy, a uh, wait, waiter from Argentina. Yeah. <laughs> have you met many Argentinas? Yeah. Yes, a quite lot. a few, yeah? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice place to work, I guess. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. Good night. Yep, good night.